In the late summer of 1920, there were two locomotives in Albert Road, for the rear end of a steam engine had broken through buffer and Victorian brick to moon at the neighbours of an aptly named pub. I knew the locomotive as a Neo-Georgian rebuild, previously known as the Kemptown Brewery. Messrs Clayton and Black's creation had retired at the age of 80-something and become a spot for commuters to throw odd hurried glimpses at a former boozer. It bared those busy looks for eight long years, a few of them were mine, until on one return I found it had vanished, replaced by blue fencing. Very little has remained there since except for the ghost print of the building's profile on the back of Progress House, and a collection of poetically dumped beer bottles. Across the way on Terminus Road is the Survivor, currently known as Famous City, a Chinese takeaway housed in a stuccoed exterior with possible painted ghost signs and seemingly Asian features atop tiled pillars, perhaps an accidental architectural marriage, as I cannot find the origin for either of them. Next to Famous City used to stand one of three of Littlehampton's lost cinemas. Opened in 1911 as the Electric Picture Palace, and later renamed the Regent Cinema, Films were projected here until a sudden end in the May of 1960. By the time of my birth, it had become a 21st century saloon bar and restaurant called Panhandle Pete's. I was taken there at the age of two, and seemed to have only retained the mental image of looking down from the mezzanine to a chuck wagon on the ground floor. For years I thought this may have been a dream, and I'm still not certain it wasn't. I only learnt of the ostler's existence last year. This unsuspecting shed was home to the person who took care of patrons' horses at the Terminus Hotel, a former incarnation of the railway club. After vigorous petitioning from late local historian Jeannie Millington, the ostler's room survives as one of the only few left in the UK. It has taken on another worldly appearance behind the new flat block that replaced its contextual counterpart, a sort of monolith to the past down an unassuming road. However, I am assured it is just a humble bin store. The Little Hampton Indoor Market had two entrances, one still just about standing at the end of Surrey Street with its high top dormer caving in, and the other was on Terminus Road. A large mural painted by the children of Connaught Junior School adorned the front of it. It read, One world borrowed from our children. <laughs>